Welcome back to more Islet, everybody. In the last episode, we were here in the second island of the game, so let's go ahead and explore. As a quick reminder, we came in from this side, so there's nothing to do over there. We can only go this way. Let's uh, see what we can do here. So we do have a double jump that we gained in the last episode. Let's check down here really quick. There's nothing. Okay, just making sure. Here's a warp. Now, as a reminder, the game's warp system only works within the same, um, like, island. So... You can't warp to a warp in a different island. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Shoot. I definitely... Oh my god. Well, that's a horrible start. I don't even know if I should... Should I just go back? Crap, man. I feel like I should just go back because, like... You know? Oh, you got an attack going on there, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. Let's see if I can make it to another save point before I die, you know? There's that down there. There's actually only to the right that I can go to. Oh boy. Yeah, the, uh... I don't know. The, the, the physics of this game are... I'm not going to say they're bad. They're just very different than, than, than the average Metroidvania. Where it can really throw you off because it takes a lot of getting used to. You know? Like, what the freaking... That is insane, dude. I'm dead. Like, I'm actually dead. I can't do that, man. How would I even go about, like... Nope, I failed. I can't believe I did that. <clears throat> I actually thought I was going to die with one hit, not two. But now I'm one away, and I'm probably dead here. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Is that your only attack? It seems like that's it, so... Nope! Shoot. Okay, at least got that one. Oh my god. Give me a freaking save point, dude. I need a save point. You again? Waiting until you twice is a coincidence, but three times? I'm starting to think you're following me. My den is a lower, you know, so don't try it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's been pretty linear here. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, he almost got me. I need a save point, man. Oh, okay, at least I did this. Even if I die, I think this part saves, so, like, I don't have to redo all that pathway over there. I'm pretty sure. I do believe so. Okay, I made it. Oh, thank God. All right, let's see here. I can't go down there. I, I do need a, I need a lot of money to, like, start upgrading all of my... Just everything, you know? Gotta upgrade my health, gotta upgrade my attack, all that stuff. Yeah, so far this island, though, has been very linear. There's been only one way to go pretty much the entire time. Um, so it's not, at least it's not, like, confusing, you know? Like, you don't really have a choice in where to go. <clears throat> okay, keep going. And then here, there's only one way. Oh, shoot, I thought I was gonna go, go damn it. Alright, well, I'm down to almost nothing again. Would you like to open this gate? Cost 100. I'm gonna say no for now because I wanna check what's down here first. What the hell is all of this? Okay, well, that's closed, so I can only go this way or the 100 door. Are you kidding me? Oh, shoot. I did it. Those things are not too bad. Oh, this thing. Okay, I know these. Shoot. Okay, it's possible I just messed up in the beginning. It helps to start with a burst of speed.
There we go. Barely. Oh my god, sorry about the sirens. I hate freaking sirens. Max health increase, increase. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing this one here. We need that damn health. Heck yeah. Oh, I just try not to mind those stupid freaking sirens that everybody hates. Like, man, they're just so loud. They're always so freaking loud. Alright, we're gonna just go this way. There's still that, that door. Again, I didn't miss that, so who knows what's gonna be over there, but... Okay, I can't even make it up there. Nor there. I actually can't make it up there. Really? I can't make this? I guess not. Oh my god. Alright, well... <clears throat> Oh, I see. Basically do that so you can actually clear the path to make it over here. Okay, got that one. I think an enemy fell. I think there was another one. Oh, there. Let me just check up here really quick. Okay. Shit. Man, those guys move fast. Oh god, I gotta be careful about those enemies, seriously. Okay, got that one. Just dodge him. Um, yeah, I think I do want to hit that. That one's gonna lead back, I think, to a previous area, maybe. But I can't even get up there from this side, though. I mean, oh, yes, I can. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this was definitely an earlier area. Now, the, the door that I could have gone to is over there to the top left, which is neat if I can go up there. I'm just not sure which way is better, you know? I guess I'll check it. Might as well. I'll say yes to that. Sure. That's to where it takes us. Hmm. I mean, it's going somewhere, so they're both going really far. Until, like, it seems like it's almost polar opposite ends. Okay. I can't go through there, so I have to go around. There's an item here. <clears throat> okay, another power-up. Let's see what this one gives us. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I, I've been avoiding the arrow stuff so far because I haven't really found it too useful yet. I say keyword yet, you know, but that could definitely change. But that was all I can do for now. I can't access that from that side, so I'm just going to go back. At least I got an upgrade from that, though. Okay. Then we're going to go... In this room, we're going to go down. This one we're gonna go back down, down, <laughs> and then this was a new way. Yeah, it's gonna be towards that direction. So, what the hell? I just got a. Oh, never mind. I got like a really weird vacation. Lego brawls. Yeah, I, I have this thing where I'm signed up for like to get notifications on when like games are. I don't know why I said uh, I said signed up. No. So basically. I'm following this account on Instagram called Gameplay Long Beach because I'm from Long Beach and it's my local game store. But like I have notifications on is what I meant to say whenever they post. So I get to see when like new games released are there which usually sometimes I get them like a day early. So like right now they just put Lego Brawls which actually comes out I think in a few days. I'm pretty sure. I mean I recorded this August 31st which I think it should be one day before it gets published on YouTube, so we'll see. Some statues here. This part of the island was made by the clockmaker, every wooden piece of it. Before the island split, he was hard to build a bridge to fill in the gaps between two of the upper islands, and this is what he made. Seems a bit overboard if you ask me. After the island split, he was never seen again. Quite the story, huh? Um, yeah, I guess. I guess so. Alright, we're gonna do that. Game saved. We got a boss coming. Oh god. Not good. You know what? I'm just gonna have to take some hits. It's fine. 
just be aggressive with what you do. That's, that's fine if he takes him. You can just go back and heal right away. There we go. Let's go do it. Because once you do it once, you don't ever have to do it again. Let me check down here. Sometimes these things look a little suspicious, you know, but nope, there's nothing there. Hmm. Okay. Hello there. You're looking to tour these ruins? Looking for you, I happen to be a tour guy. I'd be happy to show you around. I do have a few rules to follow. Please don't touch any statues, and also don't damage the plants. I think there's one more rule I'm forgetting. Ah, yes. Also, please do not unleash the captured spirits of 1,000 deadly beasts trapped in the tomb at the depths of the ruins. If you think you can follow those simple rules, then come follow me. That was incredibly specific, which obviously means we have to do that, right? We gotta do it. We got to do it. Okay. Oh, I remembered another rule. Please don't step in any traps and die. Any tour related deaths would be really bad for business. The way to get to the next room is, well, let me check my map. Hmm, actually, did I mention the story self-guided? You can work your way around, I'll catch up. Seriously? Okay, whatever. Here's another one of those. Oh, wow, can I, can I do that? No, you actually can't. Because if you do that, you get sent to the thing. So you can't actually do that yet. That looks kind of suspicious. There's a thing there, but you can't do anything. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just... Keep going. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in those areas over there. There's nothing down there. Okay, here I think I need to... Yep, set that up like that. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. Okay, just shoots three. Not bad. Not a very crazy enemy. That one's not bad either. Oh, shoot! Really didn't mean to do that. Man, I really should probably start a... Firing some arrow. They're so weak though. I need to actually up their damage, I think. Alright, so here I believe there are two ways. Yes, yeah, so there's down and there's left. Um, I'm gonna choose left first. Shit. Not good. There's stuff up there which I can't reach. There's more down here. And that just looped around, so there's nothing else up there. I don't think there is. I guess I should make sure, but I really don't think so. No, it doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, that was weird. Alright, and then this room... There are two ways once again. Uh, let me check. Oh my god, that almost reached me. Don't, dude. What are you doing? Oh my god, dude. That was really stupid of me. I was acting like sleeping. I've never seen those like not moving, you know? Alright, let's go this way. Let's see what I find. Okay, that's gonna take us to the other end. When the Mother Island split apart, these ruins were torn completely in half. The other half of the ruins are now trapped deep under the graves in North Stable Island, completely inaccessible. I hope someday these islands are able to re uh, reconnect so I can double the ticket price for this tour. Hmm. Made it to this at least. So, okay, seems like those are probably gonna reconnect, which is good. What the freaking hell? 
Okay, just like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Anything up here, by the way? That looks a little... Looks a little suspicious why they would do that, you know, like that, but... Okay. I mean, whatever. Shit! Oh my god, you stupid... I mean, I killed the enemies without taking hits, but I took two hits in a freaking... Oh my god. Wait, what about... No, I think those other areas are gonna loop in themselves, not this way. Can I stand on these freaking things? I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. It doesn't look safe. Oh, interesting. So you go... Can I break that? No, I can't. Do you do what? Well, you just push it all the way down, I think? And then you... Just run through? What is that? I don't know what that is, but okay. Check up here, nothing. Nothing, nothing everywhere. Okay, and then looks like there's something to the left. It's gonna lead to a dead end. I mean, it's the edge of the, yeah. It's, oh, what? What a troll. That's from the other side. Okay, hold on. Oh, you can. Okay, I need to test something out. Okay, you can double jump every time. That's good to know. Oh, Jesus. I can't even believe I got through that without taking a hit. Oh, it's you. What's up, you? How are you enjoying this tour so far? I hope I'm doing a good job. I have to admit, I've only given a few tours before. If you're enjoying this tour, I'll have to ask you to fill out a brief survey on my performance. But I'll actually need you to fill that out before we reach the deadly tomb with trap spirit. Otherwise, it could create some logistical issues <laughs> I like how the name changed of him oh my god okay so I can't oh wait I can go up there this looks like it's just gonna loop around I mean basically yeah wait wait hold on but it's saying I was here but I mean I was here before uh, it's just I never went to this part of the room when I was here But I don't think there's gonna be anything. Yeah, see that was for that side. Why did I do that? God damn it, man. But yeah, there's nothing over there, so. This is this way. Uh well, no, not like that. We gotta go left. And then down. And then to the right. This is not good. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'll just leave you there. Whatever. Gotta be very careful. Oh, what the freaking hell? I did not think that was gonna happen. Jesus. Okay, where am I now? See, that's going up, but I never went... Oh, no, there's something on the right. There definitely is something on the right. That's a dead end. I have to go this way, but... Oh, did he just die, the enemy? Oh, crap. Jesus. Okay, break that. I saw some, like, axes and stuff. Made it to the item. Max health, increase arrow, plus 200... Just his money? I don't want to do that, no. Because I don't think it's ever worth getting just plus money because you can just grind for it. Whereas other things are permanent, you know, and that's better. You also get a nice, you know, full health increase by getting a, a health upgrade, which is really cool. But yeah, that's what I was for over there on the right. There's nothing else, so. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go to the right. Yeah, so here we're going to have to go to the one up here. That one opens that door. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Shoot. There we go. Boss, or battle room, whatever. I made it to the tank. Hey, this dude, get out of the way. Yeah, these guys can be kind of a pain, honestly. Gosh, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> okay, this guy's easy. Okay, so there's a warp, and then there's a freaking grave on the right, is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and go to the warp first, I suppose. Okay. So here's the warp, but we're not going to take it, even though we found the seal already. And there's this side. So this side just goes... It's just going to reconnect to that side, which I've already... Oh, well, no, I mean, I haven't been to the actual room, but... This is the room that's going to reconnect everything, basically. It's the middle point where I ended up skipping both parts to it. Because this side over here... Leads to this room, which I think I've already been to, actually. Yeah, because see, I came in from there, but I went to the left, I remember. Okay. So, uh, there's nothing there. Oh, he's still alive? Damn it. Okay. And then, yeah, up here was the other way in the previous room where, yeah, if I just fell, I would have gone that way. Okay. But now this... Okay, this goes to a new room. Oh, my freaking God. Well, thank you for coming this way. I actually appreciate that. Makes things a lot easier. That thing's closed, but what is that? Do I have to kill the enemies or something? Maybe, actually. Yeah, okay, that is what that means. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab this thing. And with this one, increases melee damage. Like with my regular attack. Attacking three times uh, quickly causes more damage. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Increases the damage I do. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, time to go the only other direction where we can go, and that's to the grave place that we have to go to. There's also a section up there which we can't go to yet, but everything else we have pretty much completed on the map that we can go to. Not in the top left corner up there, nor the bottom on the right, but most areas we have. Okay, simple enough. As we near the end of this tour, I should ask if you have any questions. Perhaps you're wondering how close we are to the tomb filled with the spirits of 1,000 ancient beasts. Or maybe you're wondering if this tour is just a play. Or a ploy to, to bring down a sacrifice to satisfy their taste for blood. Well, maybe don't ask that last one. I assure you I'm a very legitimate tour guide. I can even show you my business license. But I store that near the death tomb. So let's head over there now. Oh yeah, because... I mean, obviously, obviously, it's a video game, and to advance the game, I have to do it, but anybody who does this in real life is stupid. Seriously. What the hell is all this? Are these all just corpses that have fallen to your trap before? Actually, probably, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's say this again. Let's do this. So as promised, here is a tomb of 1,000 spirits. As the legend goes, the creatures on this island collected the spirits of every beast they killed and sealed them inside of this tomb. Once the tomb was full, they buried it here, in the most remote crevice on the island, to keep the spirits trapped for all eternity. Quite a story, huh? Well, anyways, let me let me go get some paperwork and I'll be back. You just wait right here. Okay. Tomb of 1,000 spirits. Gonna have to see your freaking attack pattern, huh? What are you doing? Okay. I mean, I can't really get close in there right now. Okay, that was a good opportunity to land some good hits there. Okay, now just going around. Uh... What? Oh, I see. 
Okay, well I messed up twice. I wasn't sure about that. That's your best sh time to get a... Uh, to be able to do dish out some damage. Like, seriously. Yeah, so you just go like that. Oh shoot, I forgot he drops down. I kind of got it. It's going to be a little a little tricky at times. Okay, then there's that move. That one you do have to be a little careful by actually going... I would actually say to the furthest end. What is that? What the freaking hell is this? Oh, you got a new a new version, huh? Oh my god. What? How did I just get hit right there? What happened? Oh, you just made a rant. Oh, I see. So you gotta keep moving. It's not easy. It's actually freaking crazy hard. We're getting there, but the problem is that you're... Oh, man. You're slowly dwindling my freaking health, dude. Yeah, so you do have to just kind of sidestep and dodge it almost. That's freaking cheap, dude. Like, seriously. <sighs> I know that. That's not the problem of the battle. The problem is a cheap-ass shit in phase two, when things are literally spawning underneath you, man. Alright, well, here we go. So we the same move again, huh? I mean, you can kind of just stand in the corner and not really get hit, I noticed. Yeah, like, these are all easy to dodge. It's phase two, I mean, just conserve as much health as you can for phase two because you need to get a little lucky with the placement of those attacks, unfortunately. I hate to say that there's a lot of luck involved, but it kind of is. Oh, I forgot, oh, damn it, I forgot about that. I did actually forget about that. Okay. Do it again. Sure. Yeah, you don't actually get hit on that side. On the, on the right, you can. There's some that you have to jump, but on the left, I don't think that's actually the case. Oh, you can't hit him when he's not in that phase. Got it. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. I need to get a little lucky with some of these moves. I'm not going to lie. Unless maybe I try jumping every time he disappears. I think it's very possible that I need to do that. Maybe. Just like jump like crazy and go back and forth. I think that may actually be the, the, the trick. Possibly. Oh shoot. Well, I mean, come on. You gotta spawn a little closer to me, dude. Oh my. No, it's definitely luck based. It's so luck based, dude. I hate this shit. I just hate it when they do stupid crap in boss battles that just become luck. Like... Because you, you can't see that in- there's no way. Dude, you have got to stop spawning on the complete opposite side. Like, I can't make it over there fast enough to dish out hits. Did that just hit me? Dude, this is freaking stupid. This is actually really just hot garbage. You can't... I just have to freaking... This is ridiculous, man. Like, I don't feel like I'm dying to this thing because I suck. I'm dying because it's such garbage. You have got to be seeing this and be like, that's bullshit. Because it is. It is 100% bullshit. Like, what kind of freaking boss design is that? You're just spamming random attacks in front where you can't even see the attack incoming, like, at all. Whoops, that was... 
This is what pisses me off in freaking games, man. Like, you make a good game, and you make even fun bosses, but then a stupid freaking move of a boss just ruins the whole experience. Like, come on, dude. Like, how is anybody supposed to know when that attack is coming and what to do with it? You can't. You have to get lucky and hope that it does good attacks. Like, good attacks for you. I mean, like, the ones that are advantageous to you. Like, there's no other way around it. I'm just gonna have to probably do a cut here because this is ridiculous, man. Like... I already got hit twice. You know what? I'm going to take a death here because I got hit twice early. You have to preserve all your health because you have to get lucky for that luck base and just have as much health as possible. That way you get hit like maybe three times or something. I don't know. Okay, just kill me, please. Can you just kill me? I'm actually trying to let this guy kill me. Thank you. Here we go again. Oh my god, it's the luck base part. You've got to be kidding me, man. It's because you also have to get in there, like, really fast to be able to dish out some damage because he fades away so quickly. Like, so quickly. But no, you literally can't see where the attack is coming from. It is impossible to know until the stupid... Yeah, see, look at that. Oh my god, man. This is just horrible design. Why, why would you do this? Look, I got lucky right there that I just jumped freaking half a second earlier. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Look at that, see? Like, you can't do anything about that. You're just going to take automatic hits, which is so garbage. Well, I don't know how many times it's going to take me, um, but if I can't actually... Look at that. Shit, dude. If I can't beat this boss, I'm actually going to have to do a cut. And, yeah, no. This is impossible, dude. You can't. It's too luck-based, and you, ne you need more health to be able to tank this, so... I think the only suggestion that I really have is to go back and grind a bunch, honestly. Like, I hate to do that, but you have to grind because you can't beat that boss at this stage. So, I'm going to have to grind and just get some health upgrades or something, or damage upgrades. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I have to figure this out. So, I'm not sure I'm going to meet you because right now it's impossible to advance the game until I actually get stronger. I think there was a way... I feel like I missed some areas. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm actually stuck on this one here. That's weird. Well, okay. What if, how much do I have? That's not enough, I don't think. 486? I just don't believe that that's enough. You know? But no, right now I'm way on, I'm significantly under level, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to just grind. Oh, you actually have to wait for the thing to... You can't just tap. Oh, it's because it's... You can't even see the yes or no. My bad on that. Okay, well, let's see what I can do. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back up there. I was going to do a cut, but I'm already here. Like, it's fine. But yeah, I, I don't think that's possible to do that. They, I mean, unless you get insanely lucky, obviously. Which, I could go back there and just try to do another 10, 15 times until I get lucky and do it, but... Aside from insane luck, there's no way you can get through that battle at this stage. You have to be able to get a bunch of upgrades. Oh, we got mail and stuff. Let's see what we got in here. I was out exploring clockers when I thought of you. Something like, uh, okay, well, anyways, wanted to reach out to see if you could call it quits yet. Whenever you're done hopping around, I could really use the airship for some fire or whatever. I mean, okay. From Snoot? Wait, isn't he, like, up here, though? I thought that was, no, I don't know. That's probably another guy, actually. I'm not really sure. Okay, are you... Are you the shop? No, you're the other one. You're... Oh my god, I can't even see this. No. We need some other upgrades. I think it's... Was it your shop? Oh my god, I can only get one more health upgrade right now. I don't think one health helps too much, but... It could maybe lead to another hit. Man, I need to find ways to get a lot of money. I'm just not really sure. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good because right now I need... Because like, I'm at what, 36 minutes for this video. I could do a massive cut, just grind for an hour to get like a thousand money or something plus and get some upgrades where I could just try. Maybe that one health point helps a bit. I don't know. I'm just very under level right now. Hmm. I'll have to think about what I can do.
Okay, one thing I did is the only solution I thought of was to change it to easy mode. I hate to do that, but when it comes to bullshit boss design where the developers weren't even knowing what the hell they were smoking when they were making this boss, I don't blame any for, ch for changing back to easy just for this boss and just going back to normal afterwards, you know? Like, I think that is insanely fair to say. So, we'll see what happens because I'm fed up with this crap like I seriously am and you can tell. It just really pisses me off when developers don't test their shit, like... Like, come on, like, I understand when you make bosses hard with hard attack patterns, but if you make it luck-based, that ruins the experience. It 100% ruins the experience. Like, you have got to understand that. Like, come on. It's... I've played, what, I think over 60 Metroidvanias on my channel, and there's only been one other game where I've had experiences like this one with bosses. Where it's literally just luck base, Like, it's just luck base, And, like, it just it really pisses you off because there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing except keep trying until you get lucky. It's one thing if you freaking suck. It's another thing, like, for, for example, the, the first boss where I died, like, a couple times. Yeah, I, I was mad that I died, but that's 100% my fault. The first boss was designed well. It's a boss that's... It can be challenging to a first-time player, but overall pretty simple once you know the game. But it's not stupid. It's not. It doesn't have any stupid things, you know? Like, seriously. And that's the difference between something when you can blame yourself, like I do for the first boss, versus the next one, which is this one. Where I don't blame myself, I blame the stupidity of how they designed this boss. So here you just gotta... Oh, okay, because I'm at full health right now. You just gotta tank it. You're gonna get hit a couple times. I mean, it's inevitable because it's luck based, but whatever. Alright, here we go. Okay, this time I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah, see? That's literally impossible. Whatever, you just gotta tank it, you know? He's almost dead, so I should be able to outlast him. Oh, actually, I'm not so sure anymore. And this is an easy mode. You just It's impossible to predict where that thing is coming from. Like, sir, look at that. I just got hit by the floor by something. Like, did y'all see that? Something on the floor hit me, and it's impossible to tell because you're over here trying to freaking dodge the, the incoming attack of those waves of little red thingies, not the floor that has nothing. That was so freaking stupid. That was one of the stupidest bosses I've ever seen in any Metroidvania game ever. Oh my god. And now I'll stop talking about it because the time you're going to be like, dude, shut up. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking about it. Boom, moving on. What is this? Oh, shoot. Okay, well. Here's something. I'm fixing something up. Press down and attack a mid-air to perform a slam. Cool. That's going to be able to finally break blocks like underneath me. Which is pretty nice. Can I break that? No, I don't think I can. That's fine. Okay. Wait, was it that weak? No, I think it was a splash damage. Uh, like I think it, I think the direct hit will actually do a lot more damage than just that. This is back. Yeah, that's back over there. Okay. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go down here now. Break this and fall on through. Oh look, a warp. Wait, isn't that where we? No, no, that is a new place. I'm pretty sure. This place we couldn't go to from the other side, but now we can. That's where we just came from. Here's a warp, we're not going to do anything with that yet. What the hell? Does this lead to anything? No, I think it's just infinite, okay. Let's keep going. Okay, let's check, I guess I'll check down here first. Actually, I should have checked the other way because... Oh, you can't even break this. No, you can't. Alright, well, let's go all the way down. Wow, that reminds me of those things from Hollow Knight, actually. Alright, we're gonna do that. That opens that thing up there. Perfect. Perfect. 
Now you can run back like this. Uh, yeah, well, uh, what is that going to take me? Oh, no, I think it's just a shortcut. I'm pretty sure it's just a... Uh, I don't think there's anything... Because there's nothing... Yeah, that doesn't... Actually, wait, hold on. Damn it, I was right. Should, I should have gone with my freaking punch that I had. Oh, well. Okay. Got some enemies here. I guess where's this side? That's close. That was okay. It's gonna be somewhere over here, I'm guessing. Oh god, I failed that jump right there. That opens a door over there. And now we can simply go through. Oh, that hit me? What the hell? How did that hit me, man? All right. These are pretty simple you know, things to get through. Looks like there's something down there. Alright, that's pretty much it right there. We're up to 228. So let's see here. In this area, there's two ways to go once again. I'm just gonna have to pick a pick a side. Oh man, it's such a long journey to get down there. Let's just go. Let's leave it there. It's fine. Okay, then we'll just go through nice and slowly here. Oh jeez. Oh, what the hell was that? You're saying that it wasn't enough height? Okay, I guess you gotta wait. If going too fast, it will actually hurt you. That's what I saw from that. Gotta go slower. Where did this go? That's a save point. Let me check out the right side. It's because it keeps going, you know, and there's another pathway that I also missed. This side looks like it's the end. Okay, well, I'm glad I at least can get to see it on the map. This reminds me of Yoshi's story. Whatever. Save point is right here, so it's fine. Alright, we're gonna take this again. Yeah, so there's still the pathway up there that I missed. That probably led to an item or something, but it's a- Oh, shoot. It's a little too far. I'll wait till I go all the way back now. I'll have to just, like, when I see a warp or something. There we go. Let's go through. Anything in here? Nope. Another one of these things, huh? What does this do? I don't know what that does. Cost 100, I mean, we gotta do it, I think, so sure. That opens up a warp. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, should I? Oh, it's because the. Oh my god, that warp is so far away, though. Because you have to go. All the way up there, man, there's actually no warp that's close by to that area up there. Wait, that was only for... Well, no, there's more up there, but... What the... 
How did that do that? Oh, you press jump. I see. Yeah, you have to press the jump button to be able to have us, you know, send you up. What the hell was that? You got no momentum for that jump right there. Anything here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Well, we'll just take this and be on our way up. Up, up, up. There's a statue over here. Kind of creepy, huh? Seems like the clockmaker thought pretty highly on himself. Here's just one thing I don't understand. If the clockmaker slipped off the edge when the island split, who is keeping all those gears moving? I like to think his spirit still is down here, pulling levers and spinning gears, making sure his creation is never forgotten. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, we got a time trial? Oh, these things. Get over here. There we go. We got another upgrade. And this one, I'm gonna do... This is range of slam attack. We're gonna do this one. I think it causes even more damage now. The three hit combo. Which is good. I just want to have really high damage output, you know? That's my priority. God damn it. What was that? Are you not gonna respawn, dude? Oh my god, man. Hmm. I think I can just make it like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nothing down here. I'll just go down. Be aware of that thing. There we go. Yeah. I think we gotta be aware of this guy. And okay, got you. Break this stuff here. It's taking a lot of damage. I gotta be more careful. Too bad, there we go. What the hell are you doing? It's just running away? Okay, what was that all about? Hmm, that's very suspicious. Yeah, that's definitely very suspicious. I mean, we're getting over there. Made it to a save point. We'll take that. And let's see. So it looks like yeah, this part's probably going to reconnect back up to the top. That was the place that we didn't go through. Yeah. Uh, was there like a blocky thing or something? Like a block? Yeah, there was. That's what it was. Yeah, it just takes you there. Okay. So at least I reconnected that area. But we're going to just keep going down that way. Keep pursuing that section over there. The Clockmaker. That's you? You're the, you're the boss? Well. Oh boy. This doesn't look like it's going to be easy at all. But, we'll see. Holy shit. Do you get squished if you, like... Stay up at the top? Who knows, really? Like, who actually knows? I mean, it doesn't seem like you... Oh, Jesus. Dude! That is actually really insane, man. 
Oh, no, okay, you just dropped. That's good to know. That's one less thing you gotta worry about. You don't necessarily have to, um, you know. Okay, I think you're kind of understanding your attack pattern somewhat. Shit. Damn it. Got him. It wasn't as crazy, but I mean, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, what's next? Got something. What is the save point also? Wait, what is this? This is one of the five electromagnetic cores. When two connecting cores are activated, those two islands will connect. However, no other magnetic cores are activated yet. Find a magnetic core in another island to connect them together. Oh, I see. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Well, anyway, I gotta end the video very soon. So I could either warp out, but I kinda don't want to. Oh, wait, I have to. It's the end of this room, or the end of this pathway, I guess? I guess so. Hmm. Let me go there. Yeah, I'll go there. Let's like, wait, wait, oh no, I already, wait, where am I? No, no, I'm good, I'm good. It's, but I hadn't warped yet, never mind. Okay, so I want to go to that, oh shoot. I want to go to that room over there. Because I think I completely missed that um, room that I believe something will actually be there. Oh my god, that was really loud. You have to ride it. Oh my god, it's actually really far from here. Yeah, I mean, that room, they didn't make it easy on us. That room was not placed anywhere near a teleporter, so I have to just go all the way around, unfortunately. Yeah, I shouldn't be double jumping there. I can just do a regular jump. I don't know why I keep double jumping. Yeah, I think it's up. Yeah, right over here. Oh my god, why did I do that? It's right here. Well, you can't even... You can't even do that, though. What? Can you stand on these things? No, you can't. Um, yeah, no, that's not possible to do right now. Because you can't stand on these as platforms. Yeah, no, you can't. Well, that's awkward. Uh, should I just let you kill me? Probably. I'm, like, really far, so. I'll end the video here, though. I think it's a good time to end it, so, yeah. Next time, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go and meet you all. I mean, we'll have to see because I really don't have a clue on where. Maybe I'll grind for some money. I don't know. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.